this is the introduction video to what I've called the jump. Basically, this is going to be a video tuition um, series looking at the skills that you need to build in order to be, uh, I'd say, a good A-level student. Teaching A-level in the past is fantastically rewarding, um, but so many times people come to A-level with GCSEs that have been good grades but are missing absolute fundamentals, which doesn't allow them to access the top grades or really enjoy their maths. The idea of this uh, video series is to allow those type of people an opportunity to walk in the door with confidence. So what I'll do, I'll take you through what I've done on it, and then I'll be... Um, showing you different um, different tools, techniques and tips as we go through to make this a nice little transition. Okay, it will. So this is the whole video series. Provide those who have areas of de uh, development in harder algebra and number a chance to get up to speed prior to their A-level. Again, if you're not comfortable with working with fractions and you want to use decimals, it's absolutely key that you can work with fractions, that you can convert between the two. As trivial as it sounds, the majority of the start of the A-level is pure non-calculator work. And so many fractions come in mixed numbers that you need to be electric quick in terms of getting between the two and working between them. It will give people an opportunity to see if A-level maths is, quote, um, for them. Um, now, lots of people think it's good because they've done well in GCSE, but in reality, the grade um, may have been more based on some aspects of maths which are not going to be tested again at A-level. Some places do stats. Many don't. Many do mechanics or decision maths. So if your strong point was um, handling data, for example, and your best marks come from that, but you were very weak in other aspects, then it might be that if you don't like algebra, then the maths might not be for you. Again, we want as many people to have a go as possible. It will show techniques that allow higher A-level grades to be achieved. And these are not exclusive. It's not the only way it can be done. It might be a completely different way to the, thing, the ways you, you do or you prefer. I'm fine with that. I'm not telling you to convert to these ways. But I'm going to introduce throughout each video a little tip of how you can take and make things slightly more efficient in your working. It will give you a day-to-day or day-by-day -day tuition at your own pace. I've done 30 lessons. I might extend that. We'll look at the lesson shortly. Um, but I might extend it depending on what I feel is required for my pupils based on what they've hopefully taken away from it. Okay? It may not be the way you've done things in the past. That's cool. You make your decision. If it's good for you, it's good for you. If it's not, I don't take offence. It may also contain arithmetic errors. Um, I do everything real time, as you uh, may now be aware. I don't look at what I'm doing beforehand. I generally don't have the mark scheme, and I am prone to making arithmetic errors. If uh, you do find them, just drop me a line rather than some uh, childish remark about um, any error on there. Uh, some of the videos you might look at and think, why do I need, surely this is second nature. Um, it is, a lot of the time, a lot of these videos, you'll look at and think, well, I, I learned that years ago. You have. Um, but again, f uh, the idea of, for this whole series is that people who are not 100% confident are confident when they walk in. If you're already an A-star student and can do algebraic fractions in your sleep, then watching the first couple of videos isn't going to provide a lot of new learning for you. Um, but again, the, the target audience is not really that person. OK, it will not. It will not teach you the A-level course. Don't dial into this thinking that you'll walk into uh, the start of A-level and you would have done an A-level in the summer. If you want that, contact me and I've got plenty of videos that you can do that. This isn't that. This is to get people up to speed. It's the jump. It's the gap. It's building the skills. It's not the course. Some bits delve into the course, but it isn't the, the full onslaught of a level if it was it would be pointless because it would exclude so many it will not please all um again some of you may know i'm pretty straight to the point we have to be honest um the attrition rate of a level students in maths is quite high because so many come unprepared and as a result um 
either can't keep up, lose the, the motivation to do it, and it's important that you're not one of them. Because lots of time we make our A-level choices and sacrifice subjects we could have been good at. Yet on the flip of it, if you can dial in quick enough, you'll realise that maths is actually, um, although I would have never said it at school, quite a fascinating subject. OK. Everything that I've done in terms of this is on my website www and then it's m the number four t h s dot com it's at the start i put it up on the start bit just there everything on there is on a little link on the sidebar it says down here gcse to a level all you got to do is click on the bit you'll go straight to it it's got recommended text on there, there there's a new the uh, one out that i think is brilliant i won't name drop i won't advertise anything everything i do is not money based or linked to anything um, and any of the the sort of ideas that I share with you are not um, necessarily that of any school or company that I work for this is my own personal opinion about the, the situation rather than me being representative so if you say my teacher at school said this it's completely my own thoughts away from my professional life so everything's on here there are some excellent books or I would say Get on Amazon. Um, I just said Amazon. I shouldn't really, should I? Don't get on Amazon, actually. Get on a book site that, where you can get second-hand books and get a 10, 15-year-old uh, GCSE textbook that's pretty algebra-rich. It might stink a bit. It might be a bit creased. But I assure you, you'll learn some awesome stuff. So everything's on there. There's links to all of the additional material on there. Right, here we go. I've put them in videos, um, and these will be uploaded or available on um, potentially, potentially on a CD, potentially, depending on the costing of it. Um, but here we go, video one, add in and subtract fractions. I put the level of difficulty. This will give you some idea. This is low level stuff, rules of indices. This is C grade GCSE, uh, multiplication of um, base, same base, adding the indices, subtracting the indices if you're dividing and so on. It gets slightly harder, but we need to ensure these are the case. I know plenty of pupils who are going to get A grade GCSEs who are not 100% fluent in certs. Yet an A grade at GCSE looks really good. That would not translate with that kind of knowledge, certainly into an A grade at A level. We'll look at operations with certs, rationalising, converting between powers and certs. So the half power is the root. So root 2 is 2 to the half, and we'll look at that. Equation of a straight line, very basic stuff, low level stuff, but again, absolutely vital. Video 11 to 20, parallel and perpendicular lines, is just starting to slide out of the GCSE syllabus and is absolutely key. Basic, basic low level um, um, equations, fractions in uh, algebraic expressions, inequalities, really sort of top end C grade, low B grade GCSE. Simultaneous equations, linear, two different methods, again B grade GCSE. And again, you will do these like there's no tomorrow. Rearranging equations. Again, it's a topic um, looking at the recent GCSE. My good students, many of them didn't achieve a basic rearrangement of an equation that needed three steps. You might find that you have one that needs six or seven. Quadratics, really low level stuff going on to the harder and higher stuff. We get down to here, simultaneous equations. Um, I think this is all spelled correctly. It looks pretty... If you find any, it looks all right, doesn't it? Um, simultaneous equations, non-linear. So, for example, the intersection of a circle and a line. Basic curve sketching. Algebraic uh, curve sketching too. So, for example, drawing y equals a to the x and knowing what that looks like. Some basic graph transformations with trigonometric uh, graphs which seem to be sliding out of GCSE. Uh, triangles, really straightforward Pythagoras. The sine rule, the cosine rule, the ever nine right angle triangle, mixed trig problems. The recent GCSE paper caused all manner of hassles with the most straightforward of cosine problems. Circles. And then in train to core one. I'll, I'll do, because I come, I got up to 29, I'll do a bit on core one. But don't just flick to that and think I'm going to learn core one. If you want core one, go on my site, it's all on there. And then potentially what I've called mis miscellaneous topics, extension work beyond that. I'll see how we go with these. But that's essentially the crux of it. All of these videos will be online, generally 10 to 20 minutes long each. If you feel that you know it, fine. But please don't just jump to the end 
and then just say, well, I've done it all, I know what I'm doing. This is about you um, and providing you some information. So as stated, if you don't like it, drop me a line. Please, if I post these on an internet site, don't put puerile comments on there or write whatever, just drop me a line. If I made an arithmetic error, which is highly likely, again, be adult about it, drop me a line rather than the, the, the nine-year-old comments about, quote, I can't do maths. So there we go. These will all be available for you.